and I hope you're doing well. So I'm going to be doing the 18 card spread today to see where your person stands in their thoughts, their feelings, how they're feeling about the situation that you guys are involved in. I do want to say a special thank you to all my new subscribers, to all my new Patreon members, and an extra special thank you to all my long-term subscribers, Patreon members, or even midway joiners. I just thank you all for being a part of this and for being a part of my channel, okay? So let's see what's coming up. The first question I'm going to ask is what is your person thinking in regards to the connection today? Right? What are they thinking today? Let's see what we have here. Whoa. First card is the King of Cups. Let me get two more. This is a version of my 18 card spread. That one went in. Oh, okay. Six of Cups. Oh, wow. So this, th this person is really remembering the good old days with you. Let's see what else we have. Yeah. This person is also thinking about reaching out to you. Um, this person is thinking about the good and the bad in this situation, how much they loved you and how badly they treated you is what this person is thinking about. This person is kind of detached from their feelings while they're having these thoughts. They're trying to stay strong. Um, this person may even be watching you. But one thing I do get is like this person desires you. And that may be what brought up these initial thoughts. They may have been thinking about you like in bed or on their own. And then they're like, wow, like that was my love. Like I wish I had them now. I wish I didn't leave. I wish I had a chance now, even for some of you, they're thinking about like when they were younger or when a while ago, they could have had you or they could have been with you and they lost that opportunity. Some of them are also thinking about how they went into another situation that just, I don't want to use a bad word or anything, but it just didn't turn out good. Okay. So what is this person feeling about you? Another king, interesting. Oh, with the love, and I'm seeing the four of wands here, by the way. But what this person is feeling right now is possibly like they messed up, like they made the wrong choice, like they don't know what to say about what they did. Um, what I am getting is that your person had other things they were dealing with, understandable, we all do, and they had a lot of clearing to do in their own life. This person, I'm just hearing I fucked up. I made the wrong choice. I made the wrong choices is what I actually hear. And what it actually looks like is if this person went back to a situation or went back to someone, the, that person probably bit them in the, in the butt, right? Like it didn't turn out so good. So this person is definitely feeling nostalgic about you and remembering all the love you had. So I just put my stuff over here. Um, it's interesting because I just spilled a deck of cards, but the one card that flipped over here is, let's see, we have two actually. The Magician and the Ace of Cups. There's no one like you is what I'm getting. Uh, this person is realizing you're very special, very magical, very intuitive. There's no one like you. This person may have even left because of all your uh, sacred abilities you know, they might have thought, I'm out of here. I'm not, I'm not, you know, getting involved with that or that's too weird for me or something like that. Okay, so how is this person thinking, feeling, feeling about the situation? Okay. okay. Temperance. Wow, it's really interesting because so far in each question you've got a major, uh, I'm going to call it a principal card, like the king, king, king here, you know, and this is not a king, it's the emperor, but it's actually higher than the king energy. So this person truly feels the situation can have another round, it can be healed. But the issue here is this person is not making a move right now. So let's just pause here and clarify. I don't normally clarify um, in this reading, but because it's a collective energy, 
we are going to do so. And we're going to use this little pile of cards that was trying to be heard. Okay. And what the first thing is we are going to be clarifying is what this person's thinking. You know, what are they thinking about with that Six of Cups energy and reminiscing? I just feel like this person is older now and they're remembering the good old days and when they could have had, you know, this special connection. So for some reason, these three cards are all in reverse. Let's see what it is. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. We got two sevens here. And the Seven of Swords. What I get here is like this person actually maybe did some of you wrong. In one way or another. It was more of an abandonment, kind of leaving you on your own. This person may have really built you up in one way or another. It could have been like even helping you financially and helping you organize something or helping you start even a business and then just disappeared um, and left you with everything on your own. And I feel like you're, you were just like stuck now. So you may have been stuck with excess products or excess um, something. It's like you bought something or this person advised you this on this. I think that this is what this person is, is thinking about, how they did you wrong. Because this person definitely has love for you. They're not trying to get in their feelings because it would probably hurt too much to come to the, to the truth factor that, hey, I didn't treat this person good. I actually left them in the dust after they needed me, after I built them up, after I gave them direction, I disappeared. Disappeared, right? Didn't say a word. Made the wrong choice. So let's clarify that a bit. Wow, reversal heaven is happening here. I'm seeing a lot of reversals, but they're not all in reverse. So let me just flip that chunk over, but we have the world card. That's the world card in reverse. Wow. Because what I'm getting is like this person, it's like they just changed everything up. So possibly after this person did whatever they did, you may have had a whole dark night of the soul. Uh, like, I just feel like your world was raw whether emotionally or not, um, or fi like financially. And this person just ran. What is the running in it? What is that running? The chariot. This person left you stranded. I'm sorry. You know, I don't like to get into these. Um, it's just, it's just saying what happened in the past. But one thing I will tell you with the strength card at the bottom and this two of cups is everything that happened in this situation actually brought you closer to yourself. You learned a lot about your, your dark and your light side. You learned to love yourself more. So this person thinks that this situation can heal, you know? Oh my gosh, we got that love. It did kind of come on the side there, right? But like, this person is unsure. Look how it jumps out. This person is unsure. If you would even take their offer. Okay. Let's see. I want to see what that is. I can't help it. Let's see what we have here. The seven of pentacles. And it's like coming in reverse, right? Let me just see this. Well, I'm getting a very highly intuitive energy from you. To be honest, I feel like you kind of buried this or like, you know, you did some work to put it away because it probably hurt you so much. Um, the actions this di person didn't take, you had to start all over. Here is the Princess of Pentacles. I don't know, I get this energy, like you're constantly reminded that this person didn't choose you didn't choose your love connection, didn't choose happiness. I'm seeing a lot of 
reversal sticking up right now, including the Nine of Cups. The Fool card didn't choose to come in and, and just try to work on it. And it looks like you're right. Let's clarify the Emperor. The Queen of Cups energy is coming up for that. Okay, let's clarify the Page of Coins. What's that about then? Page of Coins. Let's see what we have. The Eight of Pentacles. So the reason this person isn't coming forward is for one, I think you've really outdone yourself and you're doing very well and you're very busy. And for two, you have an extreme amount of love around you, whether it's self-love, self-awareness, and like know thyself type of energy. This person thinks you're not going to go for them. So now let's get back into the reading. I think you've come out and this person has saw you doing well. How did you come out? I'm not sure. Maybe online or something. Wow. Okay. So does this person want to make it work with you? Let's see. Does this person want to make it work with you? Okay, please. You know, this person has issues. Yeah, this person, this person, like, what does it matter if they want to make it work if they're not making a move, if they're not making an effort? And it looks like they may possibly expect you to. What are the actions this person may take, right? Because it looks like there's not much. Yeah, this person may come in talking partial truths because I think this person cannot admit they were in the wrong. Telling you I love you. This person may come in. It's not even, you know. You got two tens here. To be honest, I almost feel like this person lacks something. And it's like they almost may come in and act like everything is okay in their life. Or like they've, they, they may talk about everything they have. But what the heck? How is that supposed to get you back? Because you know what? This person thinks, I think this person has an ego, guys. And this person, like, I don't know. I've dealt with a person like this. It's a Scorpio energy that I dealt with. And it's just like he felt like his stuff doesn't stink and everyone else's does. And I kind of get that vibe here. I stay so far away from that person, by the way. So do they want to make it work? Kind of. Like if you're going to come to them. It's the four of coins here, but it's like... They're holding back. They're not jumping off that high chair. Oh my gosh, high chair. Because they're a little baby deep inside. They really are. They're very like immature. Let's see what else we got here. The five of pentacles and the ace of swords. Oh, so what they did to you, leaving you out in the cold. If you were to come back and communicate with them, because when this sword is in reverse, it's actually about speaking. Look at this person is not going to make a move right now. In fact, we have two people with their back up against each other, and there's three swords. So it's like even when this person comes forward, or if they were to, they would still have their guard up, or if you were to go forward to them, which you're not going to, of course not like this, they would not trust you. That's why they're not trustable. They don't trust people. So they put on, they project their bullshit onto others. Look what's in reverse here now. The elderly of wands. I feel like we already had this queen of pentacles out. I feel like we have a whole bunch. Yeah, we do. So what is all going on here? 
okay, the elderly. So here, the Queen of Pentacles is the ma the masculine of Pentacles is still female. Um, yeah, this. Uh, okay, let's clarify this again with this sneaky ass behavior coming in. Look it. Oh my gosh, lovers is in reverse now. How did that happen? So guys, I gotta say this. This person thinks they're really hot. They think that they are like the everything. How rude of them to come in and brag about what they've created in their absence. Because I do feel like this happened a long time ago. I feel like you guys possibly knew each other from childhood or something. Um, or like just a long time ago. Or maybe you had a situation when you were kids and then got back together when you're older and then he just disappeared, okay? I'm getting it to he, plain and simple. You might be a man or a woman, okay? Because the elderly of Pentacles is supposed to be a man, but it's a woman in this deck. So this person, wow. Let's clarify that lovers in reverse. I mean, I don't know what to say about that person. Look at this. The four of wands in reverse. I'm sorry. I don't know. How did it come in reverse? Let's clarify this with another. Well, let's do one more here. One more. And then another deck. The fool card. Yeah, this person. Listen, in this fool card, this person is kind of blind, right? Like, She's very angelic, very special, very beautiful, but doesn't know where she's going. And I feel like that's what this person would do. They would do the same thing they've done to you before, which is kind of leave you in confusion. And that's not fair. And it's all because this person is stubborn and has an ego and doesn't want to be the one to make the first move or doesn't want to be the one to admit they're wrong. Does this person feel wrong at all? Four of Cups? I don't know. I just get a vibe like probably not. They probably... They probably don't even realize how much they hurt you. So let's clarify some more. I wanted to clarify that lovers in reverse here. And I mean the whole reversal here. Four of Wands, lovers. Like what the heck? Because this person may be, I'm seeing a lot of cheaty energy here, or it's just like this person just thinks they're this shit, they think they're amazing, look at that. This person has some sort of an issue with love. We have, and I'm seeing the three, third party here, I'm seeing the king of wands here, I'm seeing the ten of swords here, and I'm seeing the, the eight of pentacles. This person probably makes money, remember they built these other things they're going to brag about. This person doesn't want to admit how much they feel for you and how much they desire you. They don't want to be the one to be like, I want you. So if they came back, it might just be kind of like a friend thing and being like, oh, like I was, you know, with my family or I had a family. We're not together now. Or I started all these businesses, you know, I've been working on that. Um, maybe I have charities or I help people that need help or something. This person may also tell you, um, they may not tell you they're married. Like they may be married and it's probably not a good relationship if it is, but they may not even tell you that. Okay. So as for the actions, this person may come in and, and, and brag about everything they've accomplished in life. Woohoo. Um, What's the final message for this reading, guys? Sorry, I hope to come back tomorrow with a nice bedtime story <laughs> to replace this this one. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see. The final message. So you know what the final, holy smoly, I heard it before I see it. The final message is that you know the truth. It really is. For some of it, it's you know the truth that there is a wife at home. Or for some of it, you are the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or like the truth knower. And you just know the truth.
Chariot, Ace of Swords, and the High Priestess. I get it. The you wish that, you know, I don't know, this person for some reason brings you happiness. Maybe it's your, I want to say long lost twin, but like, I don't think it's the person, you know, no, the moon card. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's your long lost twin. I think you're better off alone, regardless of what this person is. And I do feel that you will get someone else that someone else is out there that will not be a burden. This person is a burden. This moon card is one of the worst moon cards ever. It's just extremely scary. The fact that the sirens are going off here. I get there's a strong connection because we have the chariot and the high priestess. But this is saying, you know the truth. You know the truth, and I don't think that this is it. Let's get a couple more messages here and see if maybe we get some more clarifying. You can ask a yes or no question, um, get more information. So I'm seeing the choose a new direction stick out, and I just, I don't know why I even looked at that top card, but sometimes I think the top cards are a message, um, and it's a no. It's just a no. I think you're ready to move on from this person. I think when this person comes back, you're just going to be like, no, and right for you. So I hope to bring us a beautiful message tomorrow. I guess someone really needed to hear this. I hope, you know, whoever needed to hear it, hears it. Well, yeah, it's one of the darker 18 card spreads, I got to say. It doesn't happen often, but it happens. Okay, guys, bye for now. Thank you.